Hey, it's Jody Jody Taylor of Snacky Says. Welcome or welcome back to my podcast, the Snacky Says Podcast. Do you know the thing that I mess up the most when I'm recording podcast episodes? The intro. Sometimes I'll say something like, this is my third, fifth, seventh, seventeenth time trying to record this episode. And it's usually because I mess up in the first two minutes, first 30 seconds. Like, come on, Jody. All right. Um... What am I chatting about today? Today I'm chatting about a few different things, so I'm not sure yet what this episode's gonna be called, but let's get into it. Maybe I'll come up with a title by the end of this episode. Maybe it'll be like a this and that. Um, let's start off, and these are not in order of importance. I am, I'm truly just chatting. I'm just sitting here chatting with you. Um, let's start off with what's in my hands. I am holding Tree Hut Limited Edition Iced Coffee Shea Sugar Scrub smells delicious it's like coffee for the shower i love this thing last year um i had an episode it was called best of november it's been a whole year and i think at the time i was like oh this was fun i'm gonna do another best of maybe in a couple of months all right it's it's i still have time maybe i'll do a best of november 2023 edition but i wanted to to talk i wanted to recommend this today because it is limited edition i i imagine it'll be out i'm recording this november 2023 i imagine it'll be out for a while but just in case you might want to hop on it um it literally smells like iced coffee it's super dreamy and um all of the all of the tree hut Shea sugar scrubs feel the same. It's like ex- exfoliation, a little bit of oil. Um, did anything else I want to say about that? I wish we had sniffo vision. <laughs> That's not a thing. Smell o vision. <laughs> Let's move on. Next up, I want to recommend um, number two Colaplast is the company, Sween24. This company name does not roll off the tongue. But Coloplast Sweet 24 Moisturizer, once a day moisturizing body cream. I have the five ounce um, tube. I buy them t- uh, as a set, like two in a pack. You may have come across this if you've stayed in a hospital or visited someone in the hospital and they like they get these for, for free. Is it for free? You're paying for your hospital stay, right? Well, anyway, it may have come included in your, your kit or set that you got if you were admitted in the hospital and got this. Well, um, I have dry skin. This says for normal to dry, flaky, itchy skin. This, this thing is a miracle worker. It's, it kind of looks like, um, I don't know, like petroleum jelly. And I suppose it works the same, but 150 times better. Um, I am sometimes sensitive to soaps. And I don't know until I'm like three days into washing my hands with a certain soap and I'll get like a white sheen on my skin, kind of scaly and not pretty. But anyway, it always takes me too long to realize like, oh, and I should know because like my hands start to burn and I'm like, oh, I guess it's extra cold. And I can usually trace it back to the soap that I'm using. It's usually a new soap. So I'm always like, "Mm, who knew? Who knew? Anyway, that recently happened. um, And I started, I got this yesterday. It's been less than 24 hours, and there's such a huge difference. My hands were so dry that um, my iPad and my laptop would not recognize my fingerprint. So I've been having lots of fun typing in my password when the whole point of me putting in my fingerprint was so I wouldn't have to type in my password. So that's what I've been dealing with. But I wanted to recommend this to you, and I feel like, I hope I've, rec- I've recommended it before. It's kind of like the best kept secret of moisturizers. I've never seen this advertised. I don't even know anyone else who uses this. Um, The only reason why I don't use it more is it's expensive. It was like 25 bucks for these two five ounce um, containers. The other thing too is the way the tube is set up, it's like toothpaste. So unless you wanna waste your product, I highly recommend when it stops coming out, cut this bad boy in half and get the rest of the moisturizer out. Like if you want, um, you can move it to a jar when you buy it. Uh, Maybe just cut it open and I would, maybe I should do that actually. I'm gonna do that. I am gonna do that. I saw on YouTube someone did a uh, like a hack where she had a tube like this. She cut it, not in half. I guess it has to be like at the right angle or the, the right spot. And then she just like popped it in and it looked like a mini version of um, 
of the moisturizer. I tried to do it and didn't work out for me, but that's, that's maybe a tip or a hack for you. I wish I knew which video it was. It was kind of like, um, scrolling through YouTube and I, I watched that video and I was like, Oh, that's cool. That's such a great idea. Um, darn, I bet I can't find it. It's been too long. Next up, I wanted to chat about Converse customer service. So I spoke a few episodes ago about my, I think it was the best of, nope, it was recent faves, recent faves. Um, I spoke about my Converse Chuck slip-ons and how I wear size 11, women's size 11 shoes, and they said size down, half size down, and I did. But you know, this is a circle back and a, and a follow up. I just, I could not shake the feeling that I was breaking in those shoes. And I had a couple of days where I was up and down, up and down, up and down, and my feet were killing me. And I was like, this is just not working. The whole point of me getting these shoes, of any shoes that I get is to be comfortable. Um, ironically, 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 I do believe in um, going through a bit of pain just to look good. I will wear some heels and like get cuts on my feet and be okay with it. Cause I'm like, damn it. I slayed. I looked really good, but not for every day, just, just once in a while, you know, like special events. And I know that now that I'm saying that out loud, how ridiculous it is, but there you have it. I'm vain. I'm vain. That's just the way I am. Again, I won't do it all the time. But if it's a choice between something that is, I always shoot for comfortable, but if it can't be done, I'm like, man, sometimes BD costs, what can you do? That's it. Do not follow my example because now <laughs> I'm absolutely ridiculous, but these are like very, very rare occasions. And in my opinion, worth it. And I would do it again. Um, that's a bad day to <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. Commerce, <laughs> Commerce customer service. Commerce customer service. So I ordered new chucks, size 11. I get the box, open the box. I see brown chucks and maroon chucks. What is going on? I would never order those colors because I'm color sensitive. I like a pop of color. Certain colors just drain me. I saw those and I was like, what's happening? Number one. Number two, they were size seven and a half. Woman seven and a half. <laughs> so... These ain't mine. What's going on? I write uh, Converse customer service. Number one, extremely speedy. I was off that chat in under 20 minutes. Maybe it's 15 minutes. Why is that a big deal? Because I generally use chat for customer service. My second, if I can't get through chat, I'll email. I never call if I can, if I can help it. And I found more and more when I go on chat to return something, it's 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes. I hate that. This was so fast. I'm actually, I'm sure it was under 15 minutes because because I I was stunned. So number one, it was fast. Number two, the person that helped me like was super like warm and patient, and that's sometimes hard to pull off via text. Um, but towards the end, he said he would send me you know the chucks I ordered. He apologized, and towards the end, I still hadn't heard what I was supposed to be doing with these chucks that didn't fit me and were colors I would never choose. So I finally had to ask him and he was like, oh, you can keep them, discard them, donate them, it's up to you. And I was like, wow, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm going to donate them, give them away. Um, there's a winter clothes drive. I don't think they're winter shoes. That's my only hesitation though. As I walk around in Converse Chucks in November, on a related note, I should probably start wearing socks, <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> I wait until like, I cannot take it anymore. Like, so I'll probably start wearing socks in January. There's always a day like January. There's always a day that I go out and I'm like, man, this is the day I got to start wearing socks. And that usually happens in January. That's a little behind the scenes about me. I always have socks on me. Don't get me wrong. Um, and I have plenty of socks. I just don't want to wear them. You see what I mean about this episode? I'm really just chatting. So anyway, I was really happy with that customer service. The day before I had a, um, an interaction also on chat with Best Buy, 50 minutes of my life. I got my refund, but boy, did it cost me 50 minutes of my life. It's, I, these companies, 
<sighs> Let's move on. Naturalizer shoes. I don't have them in front of me. Okay, so in a future episode, I'll talk about my naturalizer shoes and I'm going to wear them. Yeah, I'll wait until I wear them, but let me see if I can tell you the... the um, while I look this up, I wanted to also talk about my clothes. Um, here we are, naturalizer. Okay, Wernie, how do they name these things? The shoe is Wernie Block Heel Bit Loafer. I'm loving it. Um, I haven't worn them yet, so I'll do a proper review down the road when I do wear them. I also... Um, ordered the Darcy loafer. I gotta start listening to these descriptions. All of the reviews said they run too big. And um, I caught a super, super duper sale, by the way. And I had to have them. But I didn't listen to the reviews. And I got the 11. And when I put them on, I literally walked out of them. Well, that's what I get, because guess what? They don't have 10 and a half. So just going to get my money back. But um, they're super. So what I like about this brand is that it's not the, the first pair of shoes I have, I've had from them. They're super comfortable and they look good and stylish. Um, so let's talk about my clothes and I guess my shoes. So um, it's been a couple of months now since I did a death cleaning, spring cleaning. And so now I have everything I believe to be useful or beautiful. The problem is I am still wearing the same four or five things, clothes and shoes. Actually, to keep it all real, I wear the same hoodie, same pair of jeans, uh, just switch up some t-shirts, maybe some lounge pants one day. It literally is like the same four or five things. So it begs the question, what am I doing? What am I doing? The reason why, what, what, what you see here, what you don't see, what I see, <laughs> what's left are the clothes that I said and the shoes I said I find useful and beautiful. And yet, maybe it's out of habit. I'm not wearing them. So I'm starting a challenge. Uh, probably in December. We'll see. Um, I'm still thinking. I'm still working on the logistics uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a challenge, uh, my own personal challenge, and I think it'll be 30 days. I'm going to come up with some outfits based on the clothes I have. Like, I have jeans that I haven't worn in years. They're, like, new. Come on, come on, come on. Um, you know what, too? The jeans I wear all the time are comfortable. They do not look good. And every time I go out and catch my reflection, it's like expectation versus reality. By the way, I need to get a full-length mirror. Let's put a pin in that. No, actually, I'll just do it. Okay, so I'll go out and catch my reflection, and I'm like, why do I keep wearing these jeans? Because they're comfortable, but they don't look good. Why don't they look good? Um, they are saggy in places they shouldn't be saggy, like my knees and around the butt, and maybe it's because I've lost weight. <clears throat> so these jeans are jeans I wore before I lost 30 pounds. I like to think of some of my clothes like the sisterhood of the traveling pants. Is that, is that the name of the movie? I've never seen the movie, but like it just fits. So no matter my size, some of my clothes just fit. They just always fit. But just because they fit doesn't mean they look good. And I think that is really important. Um, so I need to act like it's important. This is a long way of saying that I'm going to challenge myself to wear the clothes I have. So these heels, one of the reasons why I don't wear um, my uh, one of my jeans is, or a couple of my jeans is that they're, this is funny to say for me, but they're long and I'm pretty tall. I'm five foot 11. I have to wear heels to wear those jeans. Well, now I have some heels, some updated heels. That's another thing. I probably should go through my shoes again. Because of the size of my feet, I tend to buy, um, I mean, you might be like, well, I have size 11. I wear size 11 and I get more affordable shoes. Um, let me know where you shop, sis, because I used to go for affordable shoes, but I find that they don't last. So the shoes I have, I've had for a long time, but they're on the more expensive side, and that is um, subjective, right? So for me, the more expensive side, and they last a really long time. But the fact remains, I'm still not wearing them. Um, 
so so i'm going to put some outfits together for december november's already started and make it happen cap in it's basically going to be like a uniform even if i rock and rotate um do you say rock and rotate is it just me? Even if I, when I say rock and rotate, I'm rock and rotating right now. I am wearing the same four or five things that's rock and rotating, um, rocking it, wearing it, rotating, switching it up. I, I'm gonna come up with with something. I have it, it's 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 okay. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse here. TLDR. I don't have that many things, and I think they're good quality things, and I like the things I have. They're either useful or beautiful. Yet I'm not wearing them. Um, so I'm going to wear them. And if I wear them in December and I feel like I don't love it, I'm just going to donate them. There are things that just do not make the cut, whether it's a dress, jeans, tops, they don't make the cut. And I, I, it's taken up space. I cannot believe it because I just got rid of so many things, not once, but twice this year. And I still feel like, mm. all right, let's move on. Um, should we move on or should we end here? Let's end here. I have some other things, but they will make it into other episodes which are appropriately titled. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just chatting. I was just chatting. I was just chatting. Um, I will, I'm going to add a, nope, I'm going to end here. I'm going to end here. Okay, if you got this far, I appreciate you. Thanks for listening. Um, if you enjoyed this podcast episode or any of my podcast episodes, please subscribe at jody.substack.com. That's J-O-D-D-I-E dot substack.com. And please share with a friend or three. Thank you so much for listening. Today was truly me sitting here with my coffee, chatting, a couple of recommendations, some musings. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for listening. And once again, take care.